<coughs> Hell of a way to start a video. <laughs> so, let's try this again, shall we? Kingdom Come Deliverance. I uploaded a game, a first gameplay video of this yesterday evening slash night. And at that time, apparently, I was in a less than competent state of mind, and I didn't realize just how terrible it was. I was basically stumbling about like a lobotomized panda, and I couldn't figure out where to go and who to talk to, because for some reason I kept ignoring the compass and the quest marker that's right there in the center of the screen, which for some reason to me was just invisible. So yeah, it was pretty horrible, and I, I wanted to do it again because that was just painful. Also, it seems that I stepped on a few toes with my frame rate remarks because I was uh, complaining about how the frame rate is not as smooth as I would like because I'm used to 60 FPS and it runs at about 35, sometimes less, which really bothers me personally. I know that a lot of people don't mind, they're used to 30 FPS and if you are, then this seems just fine to you, but to me it just looks kind of jarring and especially when turning it's uh, it just really bothers me um, but it also seems that my um, certain brand of humor being very sarcastic and somewhat abrasive uh, went over some people's heads and they were offended by my console peasant joke one person I saw was just said console peasants are you serious and I just replied, no, I was joking. And I suppose I shouldn't be surprised because my, if you don't know me, my particular kind of sarcastic humor can really be taken the wrong way easily. It can, I suppose it can come across as um, condescending or dismissive or maybe even arrogant or anything like that, which is really not the case. I just I joke around a lot. I'm not very serious a lot of the time. So, yeah, that was... I wasn't serious about that. I grew up on consoles. Like, why would I discriminate against console gamers? You know? It's just that, to me personally, 30 FPS is just not really acceptable. Anymore, at least. But anyway, enough about frame rate. I shall not talk about that anymore. And I shall instead focus on the other aspects of the game. So the graphics overall are gorgeous. There are just a few problems, like the, the pop-ups. The pop-ups are really bad right now. As the flowers just keep keep spawning in front of me, which is... Yeah, it, it detracts a little bit, because overall the graphics are very nice to look at and very immersive. Lots of attention to detail. What would father say? It's just that, you know, when, when stuff keeps popping up, it's, uh, it's not nice. But regardless, that does not affect the actual gameplay. And as far as that is concerned, my first impression was good, has been good so far. I, I did, I, I had another attempt to record a video and um, I had some problems with the, uh, with everything, with the, the character freezing up. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure if there was a problem with my controller. I, tr you know, check that. It seemed to be working fine. I restarted now. And I'm hoping that I won't have the same problems again. Because the problem was, after every, every cut and thrust, the, the character would just completely freeze in place. And would not move at all. And sometimes I could move, but couldn't rotate. So, I hope that won't be the case now. So yes, now that I'm not being an idiot anymore, I can clearly see, yes, the quest marker is clearly pointing towards that guy. So, I don't know why I had such trouble. First, I, I guess, maybe it was a mild ADD attack or something, if you can have such a thing. But, like no matter. I shall fight somebody, because that's the, that's the thing that you want to see no most right now, isn't it? Okay, yes, I shall borrow some armor, and yeah, let's start off with longsword, and we shall see how that goes. Starting out with longsword is actually kind of weird. If anything, you would start out with sword and shield, because it's easier, in real life at least. I don't know how it is here, but I would expect sword and shield to be a little easier here too. Okay, bring it. Nope. 
Okay. Okay, we kind of almost struck at the same time there. Come on, bring it. Bring it! Ah, that was slightly too late. Fuck. <laughs> Come and get you should really have seen that, dude. <laughs> you fucking dog. <laughs> How nice of you. I don't like you either. Just saying. Yes, good. That's how I like it. Yes, good. Okay, that's pretty good. Some of the, the some of the wards look a little strange, like the way he's holding that right now. It it looks like a ward that I am familiar with, but that, it's it's a little different. But I mean, there are different styles, of course. It it really depends. Like if you if you look at Italian versus German longsword, they they look a lot different, and also the different German masters also have have different styles. So it really depends. And I shouldn't just keep swinging because I'm out of breath. Have oh, that was just a little too late. Okay, but uh, yeah, the um, that guard, for example, that he has right there, is definitely a proper one. What the Germans would call Von Tag or the roof guard. Oh, ah, that was just slightly too late. And um, the way they they swing, there is a, a little bit of telegraphing, but you need. In a game, because ugh, otherwise there's no way you can react in time. Because the controller, of course, delays your your response time, as opposed to moving your body directly. Come on, bring it. <laughs> what is it? Getting scared? Okay. Not too bad so far. It's definitely going to take some practice before I can do this well. Ah, I was a little slower than him this time. And you can see by the marker how I'm I'm placed right now. And from where the the attack comes, my own, I mean. Well, how did I do? You're still on your feet, unlike the other fellow. Here's your money. Yes, good. Uh, let's do sword and shield, and let's make it even. So, let's see how that goes. <laughs> what? <laughs> he was just hovering towards me, gesturing. That was pretty hilarious, actually. <laughs> okay, so I'm not having any controller issues this time, which is nice. Yes, good. That worked very nicely. Oh yeah, I definitely like the the words they're using. Giving up, eh? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Does that feel like it? You you are a trash talker, sir. You will get your ass handed for that. Nobody likes trash talkers. Yes, right in the chest. You had that coming. Oh, that was a little too late. Timing is off the essence, just like in a real fight. I, I, I sometimes I can't tell if I'm crouching or not, because I sometimes end up crouching accidentally. Because it's it's pressing the the right analog stick, which of course I have to keep moving in order to rotate. Uh, can't I can't comment in a very coherent way right now because this definitely is somewhat challenging. Ah, he threw the the thrust right before I did mine, 
And that was st that was stupid because I was clearly out of measure there. There we go. <laughs> okay, it's not going too poorly, it seems. Oh, damn it. I shouldn't have said that, I guess. Yes, that's good. Just being out of measure and then countering immediately after the thrust. Ah, wrong button. That's still going to happen to me quite a bit. Oh, he just he just didn't care that I hit him meanwhile. Oh, if you've built up enough momentum. I'm not sure if I can actually attack the legs. It doesn't doesn't necessarily seem so. But I may just not realize how. Because I can't really look down meanwhile. Leg shots are not a bad idea. Oh, almost got it. But not quite. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Shield bash. So, speaking of shield, look at how they're using that. I, I really like that. That's, this, this is probably the first time in any game ever that I see shields being properly used. The way they cover themselves, the way they, they don't just completely throw the shield to the side while attacking. Wait, am I crouching again? Yes. Ah, that is really a bit of a problem, the, the accidental crouch. Oh, that, what? Why, why did it spin completely? That was not intentional. I do like the um, the blurred vision and everything. That makes it like when when you got a, a good hit, that makes it really hard to to react. Because if if you get a, an actual hit in sparring or in a real fight, yep, that's that is going to be distracting. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> so. There may be, depending on your pain tolerance and everything, there may definitely be a moment of being stunned. Oh, damn it. All right, now you're dead. Hey, I thought this was friendly sparring. What are you talking about? Dead? You're trying to kill me? What is it? That's scared. not very nice of you. You're not... You won't find many sparring partners when you actually try to kill them. You know, pro tip. <laughs> You may not be very popular if you do that. Okay. Not too terrible. Okay. <laughs> yep, judging the distance is not super easy, at least at first. And that's also generally a good thing. If you see him in this guard here, it just makes the most sense to attack from the right, so to his left, because that's the most exposed. I accidentally crouched again. That seems to be a problem. Holy shit! I guess that's a drawback of the the controller. You're still on your feet, unlike the other fellow. Here's your money. Okay, so I will probably also try it with a keyboard and mouse, but it just. It might be a problem because there don't seem to be any rebind. Uh, that doesn't seem to be an option for rebinding keys, so that that would bother me a little bit. But otherwise, definitely a good, very good first impression. And the the combat seems pretty smooth, well done, and it really does look proper. I mean, the, the way they're fighting. I mean, yes, sure, if you're a, an, a very advanced HEMA practitioner, I'm sure you can nitpick here and there. Like, if you're instructor level, you can go, oh, yeah, well, the stance is not quite right, then the footwork here and this and blah, blah. Yeah, sure, you can always nitpick. But at the same time, I mean, different people are also at different skill levels, so you can't expect everybody in a setting like this to be a master at sword fighting. So this is perfectly fine, and especially... It's the best, uh, I'm in the sense of most realistic fighting I've seen in any game so far. And the, what I also like, this debunks 
the, the claims that I've heard from animators. And when I when I talked about unrealistic movements in games, they, they keep saying that, well, you have to do it this way because, you know, for animation purposes, it has to look right. And otherwise, it's just if there's not enough telegraphing and, and not enough this and opening up the, the shield and everything, it just doesn't look good. It doesn't look dramatic and everything. But I don't know about you, but I'm perfectly fine with this. These animations look good. They are aesthetically pleasing, so to speak, and they you can see what's going on, and it just shows that you can do it. You can have realistic fighting in a game that looks good and that plays well. So, yeah, that's about enough for that mini rant there. <laughs> and yeah, I hope you found that interesting and entertaining and whatever else you may get, might get out of it, just killing time at the office or <laughs> whatever you're doing. And thanks for watching.